Hey everyone, it's Ian here, Reef Sis on Instagram and YouTube, and I'm making a really quick video about salinity and salinity in my reef tank. This is my Aqua One Reef Sis 326, and it's around 325 litres in the display tank, and I made a massive mistake on day one. I got my salt water from my LFS, and I asked no questions. I don't know what the specific gravity was, I don't know what the uh, parameters were when I put the water in, and I don't know what brand of salt they were using for the mix. And I'm never gonna do that again. I've spent two years um, all over the place following advice from the internet about having raised parameters and the, ex the great growth you'll get and all these different things, and actually not really knowing where I'm at. I did loads of testing, you can see it on my Instagram, I have it in the highlighted stories, I test every week and my parameters are always like really stable, but you know, it's, it's tough to keep them there and I don't have time to do that. My biggest tip to someone starting a new tank or starting out in this hobby is try and make your own salt water with a good brand of salt and match their parameters on the packaging and stick to that. These guys are experts and um, you know, they know what's needed. So to keep things simple, I've chosen to go with the Red Sea Blue Bucket Salt I'm doing their SPS um, regime and I've got my water back to 35 um, PPT and their settings are 430 calcium, 1280 mag and uh, 8 KH. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes down here. So my salinity now is 35, my pH is 8 to 8.2 but my uh, KH is 8.8, .8. I'm going to let that drop slowly. My calcium is 525 and my magnesium is four, uh, 1425. So they're quite high, but I'm just, I'm not dosing calcium and mag at the moment. I'm letting them drop ever so slightly. So the best advice I could give someone is, try to make your own salt. If not, if you're in the LFS, find out what the brand they're using is, find out what the parameters are of the water, and then set that for your parameters. And don't like go chasing or trying to up something to get a better this and get a better that. And, listen to BRS saying, oh, you know, if you have any parameters, it's gonna make for a good growth and stuff. Keep it simple, stick to the recipe on the bucket, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do going forward. So when I've got everything in line, slowly coming back down into place, I'm just gonna keep doing 10% water changes every week with the Red Sea Blue bucket and let it all like stabilize out. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you in now and show you how I make my salt water at home. I live 120 kilometers from my nearest LFS and it's not always convenient to be trying to get water and it's a bit of a panic trying to get there every week to like buy water. So I decided to make my own water in my house. Um, I've got a Glamoka RODI unit and an Aquamedic DI resin um, extra add-on just to get the water crystal clear and really pure. And then I weigh out my salt, mix it up in the barrel in the bathroom and then do my water change here. So let me show you what that system's like and I'll see if I can get uh, some footage of how I do my water changes. Cool, thanks guys for listening. Okay guys, we're in my bathroom. Uh, it's a bit weird to be in a reef related video in a bathroom, but uh, hey, it's a good idea I wanna share with you. So um, yeah, when I was redoing my bathroom last year, I've been just watching a reef dork video and he was saying about how you don't want your barrel to overflow and like destroy your house. So all the floors in here are tiled and um, when I'm filling up from my RODI system over here, I can actually lift the barrel and put it into the shower tray. So any leaks, it'll just overflow into the shower tray. Now, this is my Glamorca RODI system. Glamorca is actually a brand uh, that Max back down. And um, basically, it's a five stage reverse osmosis, going through all the stages, then the fifth stage is resin. And then I have an Aquamedic external resin as well, just to get it really clean. And as you can see, those little digital, those like numbers, one, two, three, four, five, they are the stages. And as the canisters inside perish, it'll light up and it tells you what TDS um, we're running. So we're currently on zero TDS plus the external canister. So we're in a good spot. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this system. Let me show you how I mix up my salt. Okay, let's mix up some salt. So I have my Pyrax beaker here. It's 1,800 mil. That just happens to be the one I have. I've had it for years. Uh, kitchen scales, which is in grams. 
and when I have the park speaker on the scales, I set it back to zero. This is my red sea salt, as we have already discussed, and I'm going to make about 25-ish litres of water. So I'm going to use, to start, one kilo of salt. I just have a glass, I'm just taking it across and pouring it in. It's that easy, for the moment anyway. So every kind of my good old Nutella glass, every time my Nutella glass goes in, that's another maybe 100 grams. So five, that's seven, 20. We're getting close now, start doing halves. 888, here we go. Now that's 1,035 grams. I've gone a little over, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Let me adjust the camera so you can see how I add the salt into the barrel for mixing. Okay everyone, so there you go. That's the water barrel ready to go. That's a new fresh RDI straight off the Gamorca. It's mixing with a hard drawer uh, power head, just an old one I had lying around. And that is literally just a barrel that I chopped the top off, like the normal barrel you get at your LFS. This is cool. This is a funnel that I got free with my IKEA dishwasher for putting in the salt into the uh, dishwasher. And believe it or not, it's amazing for doing this. Now, there is our salt ready to go. That's uh, about a kilo and it comes in at about 800 mil, believe it or not. And I just literally gently shave that in, trying to keep it tidy. That's how I do it anyway. Nothing special. Nice and easy. Now. Now we're nearly there. Okay, all the salt is at least in the funnel. Give it a little shake. And that should be ready to mix. I'll come back and collect that in about an hour and a half, two hours, and then we'll see how we pop it in the tank. Peace. Okay, hi everyone. So I have got my salt water from earlier on prepared in a barrel, ready to go. And then I have an empty barrel, identical to the salt water barrel, uh, empty, ready to take my water change out. Um, I have my salinity checker from Hannah. I'll just double check, uh, drop it in. Couldn't live without this. And bam, we're on 35.1. So. I'm quite happy with that. I'll put that aside and I'll rinse that later. But I just want to show you how quick I do my salt water changes. Um, I have my uh, hose, which is about three quarter inch. It's a bit thicker than normal and that helps with speed. So you can really do the water change really quick. And uh, I used to lift the barrels up really high and like pour them in and stuff. I just don't do that anymore. So let's see how quick I can do this. and. Uh, um, I'll keep going till these two lines match so the water level matches in each one. Alright? So, basically, the water changes can be as easy as this. Normally, I would do a simple water change just like this one, but sometimes, maybe every month, I liberate the sand. Other times I'm scraping algae off the glass and off the rocks and I'll do a siphon that actually draws a lot of that water out. So if you're ever doing some kind of big, um, you know, cleaning regime on your tank, like if, and it's a really messy and you're just going to clean out some of the junk, this is an ideal way to, um, you know, export a lot of that algae that otherwise is going to settle back down your tank. Anyway, so I'll start to concentrate now to see that I match the levels. You can see how quick that's going in. We're only probably less than a minute or a minute and a half. And um, we're nearly there. Let's see if that's it. I'm happy with that. And then I'll lift my new barrel up. And 
hand. I actually empty this barrel into the sump. So okay, I'm back. Right, basically what happened there was I have my tank set for a feed mode at half past eight and literally as I was refilling the sump, it hit half eight and the return pump turned off. So yeah, in the magic of video editing, hopefully you won't see me having to like rebuild everything. Not rebuild, but restart everything. I've just turned on the pump manually. So yeah, I'm literally gonna drain this uh, second barrel uh, into the sump and I'm gonna let the return pump pump it back into the display. So it saves me backache and the hardship of having to lift the barrel extra high or anything like that. That's nearly empty. Thanks for sticking around and watching this video and uh, understanding how I work with solid water and how I uh, have my parameters and salinity levels. And uh, yeah, I hope you come and watch some more of my videos and uh, follow me on Instagram and reach out and chat to me if you want any help. And if you can help me with anything, likewise, please share and uh, talk to me. Thanks guys. Bye.